Thanks, Mark. I was recently introduced to a pet store that offers an approach to food and care for your pet that is on a whole other level. We are inside Earth Pets with my man Steve, who has hit me to so many things in just our short minute conversation, but tell people what Earth Pets is all about. Uh, we're a mom and pop. Uh, we're Gainesville's original, actually, now in North Florida here in, uh, in Jacksonville, but we go back to 1979, and everything in our store is basically uh, completely holistic, all natural. Uh, there's no corn, no soy, no wheat, no animal byproducts in anything that we carry. Everything we carry actually has full-on transparency and audit trails associated with it, or else we don't accept it in our store. So you can walk in here blindfolded and know that we've already done the research ahead of time, and uh, your dogs will be safe, uh, healthy, and happy. So nothing from China that's consumable. We look at everything. And it's amazing because, you know, we're talking about food, but you're like everything, like even the toys as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the toys that we source out of here, um, the majority of them are from the America. Um, a lot of them are recycled. They're either from either Maine or from Montana, and they're made from uh, materials that are either FDA food, grain materials, so if a dog actually takes a piece off and digests it, it's totally safe. Or they're made from uh, organic hemp or, uh, you know, from, uh, from sweet potatoes. So, you know, we, we look at all the aspects. Or if it is a Chinese toy, it's one that actually has a European accreditation to it. So we look at that too. Why did you guys decide to take this approach? Because, I mean, you guys could have opened up and just been like, hey, we just want to make a ton of money, but you guys are actually looking out to take care of people's pets. Yeah, it's, it's a code of ethics that we, uh, it, it's a philosophy that my father-in-law started. Guy Webster, uh, Guy Rodney Webster started this in 1979, uh, once again out of Gainesville. And his core philosophy was to actually look at, uh, not to sell any animals, uh, to do everything ethically, just to, to work with the rescues and also with, uh, like with the shelters to help those types of dogs and, and cats out there. But um, take a better, higher road and approach it because if you're selling the truth, um, then you, you know, can sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's, you know, it's, it's a better way to, to live. It's a better way. And it also ups the, uh, the, the, called the ethical bar in our, our community. So it's, it's a great way to wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and say, I'm going to go help animals. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but you guys have this cookie display up front that yes. looks so enticing that I'm like, oh yeah, I'll try this, I'll try that, but it ain't for the humans. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually human grade. What? They're totally human grade, and they're, uh, they're friends of ours. We've known for 16 years out of Castleberry. They started out with uh, like a little, like uh, hearts and little fire hydrants, and now they're actually making like licensed Star Wars stuff. It's amazing. <laughs> and we actually have people come in and, and get them to trick their kids. <laughs> so, so <laughs> when they've been bad, so you know, no cold as dog cookies. <laughs> but it's good stuff. Note to self, little diva, just saying, be prepared. <laughs> and you guys cover the gambit. I mean, we talked food, we talked toys, but you've got like leashes, everything for all different types of pets. Yeah, um, we go across the board. Um, you know, we're a little tiny uh, store here, but what we focus on is nutrition. And then we do have the better types of uh, leashes and collars, ones that are actually guaranteed for life. Even if chewed, you can bring it back in here. We have a couple brands. Um, you know, if a dog just destroys it or destroys your leash, uh, another dog destroys your leash, I'd like a dog park you can just bring it back in here we'll take it off the shelf and bam you walk away with it that is amazing i'm so stoked to check out some of the products that you have here also we were just speaking on education like people can come in here i don't know anything when i go to my pet store and i just kind of grab what i've read about but i could talk to you and you could turn me on to a whole nother level maybe i could actually graduate to a bachelor of pet science <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we uh, it's it's been a long road. So uh, everything that we've learned here has been from my you know from my father-in-law once again. So uh, I've had an incredible mentor that's helped us along the way. But um, helping dogs on an individual basis is the way it casts is the way we approach things, um, and also some sugar gliders and stuff. But um, it's all about the individual animal. Each each mammal is a unique biological snowflake, if you will. And so um, you know might be allergic to this, might be allergic to that. Is it environmental? Is it a food allergy? Is it stress? You know. So we try to break things down, isolate the situation, and then approach it. You know. In that is a great mentality. Never thought of that before. Now, we're here in Mandarin. Do you have any other stores and locations here in Jacksonville? That's great that you asked. Um, we're actually going to be opening a store in San Marco in about three months or so. So hopefully by March, uh, we'll have one rocking and rolling over uh, San Marco right off of Hendrix. Nice. There. So we're excited for that. In the interim, where can people find out more information online? Go to earthpetsflorida.com and uh, everything is right there. That Absolutely. Is so cool. Thanks for spending some time with me. Thanks for educating me. Yes, sir. We're going to have more in just a minute.